guys welcome back to my channel don't forget to like share comment and subscribe Oracle from Jeff Bezos Paris company Blue Origin felt mid flight shortly after a liftoff on Monday aborting its cargo capsule to the 270 before crashing into the Texas into the Texas desert according to the company and a live video stream of the mission without any humans on board the rocket lift of from Blue Origins West Texas launch since Monday morning as the company's 23rd new survival mission aiming to send NASA funded experiments and other payloads to the edge of space space to float for a few minutes in mid microgravity but just over a minute after liftoff and roughly 5 mil miles 8.05 km above ground, the new Shepard booster's engines flared unexpectedly during a scan. The capsule support aboard motor system triggered almost immediately, jetting the craft away from the faulty rocket before parachuting back to land intact. The booster crashed within a designated hazard area. According to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, which oversees and regulates launch seat safety, Blue Origins fleet of New Shepard rockets is grounded until the FAA signs off on the outcome of a company-led investigation into the mishap the agency did. During, during today's flight, the capsule escape system successfully separated the capsule from the booster. Blue Origin tweeted after the mishap, the booster impacted to ground. There are no reported injuries or personnel have been accounted for. The mission called NS-23 was the first new Shepard launch without humans aboard in over a year. And the fourth mission in 2022, the rocket capsule system has flown 31 people in all under Blue Origin's suborbital space tourism business and which in which paying customers are launched some 62 mils high for a few minutes of micro microgravity at the edge of space before their capsule returns to land under precursors. Billionaire Bezos, the Amazon.com Inch founder who started Blue Origin in 2000 was among the first passengers to fly New Shepard during its debut crew mission in 2021. The rocket that crashed on Monday had flown eight times before, but it was uh, was not immediately clear whether those past, past missions included humans. Blue Origin flew, flew New Shepard 15 times before its first crew flight. The head of a UN team of investigation on Myanmar said on Monday that Facebook has handed over millions of items that could support allegations of war crimes and genocide. The Independence Investigative Me Mechanism for Myanmar IIMM, aims to build case files for proceedings in national, regional, or international courts. It was established in 2018 by the UN Human Rights Council and began work the following year. Facebook has shared with the mechanism millions of items for, from networks of accounts that were taken down by the company because they misrepresented their identity, Nicholas Comnijan, head of the IMM, said in a speech to the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva. Myanmar is facing charges of genocide at the UN's International Court of Justice, ICG, ICJ. Over 2017, military crackdown on the Rohingya that forced more than 1,700 people to flee into neighboring Bangladesh. Facebook, whose parent company changed its name to Meta Platforms in last year, said they they that they support international efforts for accountability for the crimes committed against the Rohingya.
We have made voluntary local disclosures to the UN's investigative mechanism as well as disclosures of public information to the Gambia. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you.